Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing y'all how I get these golden smoky eyes using the pressed glitters that I showed you all how to make a couple of weeks ago. You all have been requesting that, so here it is. I hope that y'all enjoyed the video. If you do, please thumbs up and subscribe, and let's get this going. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start off by applying my skincare. I'm going to start off with this product by Charlotte Lacroix. This is the Firming Face Serum, and I was a little skeptical to apply this under my makeup, but it ended up looking absolutely beautiful. I will also be applying her eye cream, and obviously all around the eyes. And then, um, like I was saying, it was a little different, and it was difficult to apply but the overall result was gorgeous. I'm going to start off with my eyes rather than my foundation. I want to try something different. I'm applying my Painterly Paint Pod by MAC all over my lid and just a little bit right under the eyes. I'll be using my Babella palette for this look and I'm taking this color right here which will be my transition color and just make sure you dust off any excess and apply this color right on the crease area and what I'm doing here is just creating a transition so that the colors blend out really nicely for those of you that need a little more practice with blending or have trouble with it I would highly recommend applying a skin tone color all over the lid first and then applying the colors that you want to use which will then create um, kind of like a base that's powdery so it becomes easier to blend. I'm building this color right on the crease. Obviously you wanna go based on your skin tone, so just go about two or three shades lighter as a transition color. And then I'm just following the shape of my eyebrow just so everything flows well together. Now I'm taking this color right here, which is about two or three shades darker than our transition color, and I'm using the same brush by Jenny Patinkin. All I did was wipe it off on a cotton towel, and that's all you have to do, and you can reuse them um, using several different shades. So I'm just applying it right on my crease, and this is more of a flat brush that precisely applies the color where it needs to be. For those of you that don't have much of a lid space, you can always go slightly higher to create your a bigger um, lid space and then also it will make your eyes appear a lot bigger. Um, like my sister, she's got hooded eyes so I always like to go slightly above her natural crease. And then just blend it out. These brushes make it so easy so it's very effortless. Now for um, highlight, I'm going to be using this matte shade. It's almost like a vanilla white color and I'll be applying it right under my brow and I'll also use this time to blend out any harsh lines that I could have created. You might wash off some of the color that you applied but you can always go back and add a little bit more if you need to. Now with the same brush again I'm going to be taking this green color and applying it right on the outer part of my eye and then working it in to my crease just about halfway really focusing on the outer half and then just lightly going inward towards the inner one third and just blending it out and building this color up. It's a really beautiful um, green color because it's not very vibrant um, and it does have a little bit of shimmer to it which works really nicely with all the mattes that we're using. This will add a lot of depth um, to the eyes and make them appear a lot bigger. Now taking this beautiful gold shade, we'll be applying it with a very tiny brush right on my lid. This will create a nice base for the glitter that we will be applying. Sometimes glitter can seep through. The one I created um, from scratch, and I do have a video on how to create your own press glitters if you want to go check that out. Um, it doesn't seep through, but I still wanted to create a nice base um, that's similar to the glitter that I will be applying. So now for the fun part. You all have been requesting that I use my palette with the pressed glitters that I showed you all how to create on your own. And look at how beautiful they're holding up. It's been sitting in my drawer for, what, a couple or a few weeks. And they're still holding up great. So I'm just going to take a really small brush, spray it with a little bit of Max Fix Plus. I always get, like, my tongue cut up with that, those words all together. I don't know why. And then I'll just be pressing it right on my lid. And as you can see, I don't get very much fallout. I really, really love this option because it's so convenient, especially for on the go. You don't want to be carrying loose glitters around. This is a great alternative. You don't have to spray it with MAC Fix Plus. It's just a habit I have. And I do get great results with that. Um, and then the glitters just, they're just holding up so beautifully. Um, I did buy some of the ingredients at CVS and also 
um, the vitamin shop. So I don't know if uh, the brands have anything to do with the consistency of the glitters. Um, but for me, they've been holding up, up so amazing. And I don't get a lot of transfer on my lid. Um, just very little, but it does create a really nice transition rather than a harsh line, if that makes sense. And this is why I love the pressed glitters. And I will be linking that video for you all down below on the more info box if you want to go and check it out. Now for foundation, I am using my NARS Full Coverage Foundation and I've been applying it or blending it out using my Tom Ford Blush Brush. I know it's crazy, I just grabbed it and I said, hmm, I wonder how this would apply. And I absolutely love the finish it gives me. I love it, you guys. Anyways, so I just have to be careful right around my eyes just because I'm not really used to doing my makeup last. It, I do have to say it was an adjustment and it did feel awkward doing my makeup last, my foundation. But I do have to say I did love the end result because um, it was just really smooth and I didn't have any fallout from my shadow, which was was really nice and I didn't have to clean up or anything like that it was it's just it just takes a little bit of getting used to if that makes sense for concealer I am using my it cosmetics bye bye pores I think that's what it's called in light and I am applying it or blending it out using my beauty blender and I just really love that concealer I don't know if it's just because it's like really um, moisturizing I just love it then I will be setting it with my Laura Mercier's um, Loose Setting Powder, which I absolutely love. It really diminishes the appearance of my pores, and I was really impressed. It is a hassle for me. I don't like loose powders very much because they do get messy. Sometimes they get on your clothes, but I would definitely take that just because I love the end result of this powder. Now I'm going to do my contouring and I am using my uh, Charlotte Tilbury's uh, contouring powder brush and I'm using my um, Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in wheat to create a nice uh, base for my uh, blending just because contouring can be a little difficult if you guys know what I mean. And I really love this brush. I was kind of skeptical. I didn't know if I wanted to grab this but it's the perfect shape for uh, contouring and I just love it. It makes blending so easy. I do like to wash it at least once a week though because I like the bristles to stay nice and clean because that plays a big part in blending. And when it comes to contouring, we got to blend. I wanted a really beautiful glow to my skin, so I'm taking my Marabella Glowy uh, blushes and I'm combining them to create the perfect tone. And it just created this really beautiful glow on my skin that just made my face look like radiant and beautiful. Um, and like I said, my skin is very dry. So when I'm done uh, applying all these powders, I always use um, my MAC Fix Plus just to um, create a little bit of hydration. And it also soaks up all of those powders and you don't look cakey. I also wanted to try out the Charlotte Tilbury's Bar of Gold, I believe it's called. I purchased it. Shipping was really fast. Packaging was great, so I highly recommend. It's not the best highlighter I've tried. I do have to say that, but I love the tone. Like It just works so well with my skin color. I just wish it was a little finer, like finer milled, I guess you could say, just because it's really hard to grab the product. Maybe it's just because it was brand new, um, but I do love the color itself. I did have to build it a little though to create that dramatic highlight. Now for the under eyes, I will be applying that darker um, transition color. And I'm just applying it with the same crease brush just to create a really nice dramatic look. Um, and I just really love the overall combination of these colors together. I think they work with a lot of skin tones. Um, and then if you do have darker skin and you want the colors to really pop, I recommend using a um, lighter base so that the colors really, really pop on your skin and they'll look beautiful, especially um, on darker complexion just because this gold, uh, burnt gold glitter will really, really pop. And then I'm just um, building the color on the outer half and getting in between those lashes just because I hate when skin shows through. It just doesn't look right. Not in my eyes. Um, so I like to really intensify and get in between those lashes. And again, I'm still using the same um, brushes from Jenny um, Patinkin. Then I'm applying the glitter on the inner one-third 
and then just uh, building it up. I really like the dramatic look. I know a lot of you all can't go this far down with your eyeshadow, but just go as far down as you can. You can also, you know, add more drama. If you want to add more drama, you can add some black eyeshadow on the outer corners if you wish. And as you can see, I'm just building that glitter, making sure it doesn't look too clumpy and over the top. I just want it to be really beautiful and for it to look effortless. Then I'm going in with this brush to blend out right where these colors meet, especially with the glitter. Once you blend everything out, it just comes together really nicely, so it is important to kind of blend it out a bit. Now I'm applying my MAC Feline right on my waterline and in between my lashes just because I love this one. I've used it since I started making videos on YouTube and that was a long time ago. Back then it was just a limited edition liner and now it has become permanent in their collection which I absolutely love but you do have to know how to set this one otherwise it will run. For my lips, I'm using this a lip liner by Charlotte Tilbury and I will provide the color and information down below in the more info box. I really love it because it did make my lips look a little bigger. It contoured really nicely and it held up during the day. Um, I can't say that the color is perfect for every skin tone, but it definitely worked out great for mine. I did have to apply a couple of layers just because it's not extremely highly pigmented, at least not with the one I got, um, so I did have to build it quite a bit. For my lipstick, I am using the Charlotte Tilbury's Very Victoria, which is one of my favorite, all-time favorite lipsticks because it's great for on the go. It's just the perfect tone. I can't say enough about this lipstick. Every time I take a picture and post it on Instagram, I always get a question on my lipstick and what color it is and what I'm wearing on my lips. This is amazing. It's the second one I purchased and I love it. I ended up putting just a little bit of that bar of gold right in the inner part of my lips and it created a really beautiful look to it. It applied better with the brush rather than with my finger. So that is pretty much it for the makeup. I wanted to tell you guys how I've been dyeing my hair. I've been using this product by Madison Reed. Um, it doesn't have ammonia or parabens or any of the bad stuff. It still covers grays. I've been really loving how it's been making my hair look and I'll be using more of those products in future videos. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching my videos you guys. It means so much to me. Thank you for liking, for subscribing. I will see y'all really soon with more tutorials. Take care everyone. Bye!